Hi, my name is Lev, and today we're going to measure pronation and supination of the forearm. Deepa is going to be my patient. She's going to be sitting with her hand off the plinth. Her elbow is going to be flexed 90 degrees. The humerus is going to be close to her body. And I'm going to ask Deepa, Deepa, can you please move your hand this way for me? Okay, bring it back. I'm going to move it for you. Give it a little bit of over pressure. Now I'm going to take my goniometer. The stationary arm is going to be perpendicular to the floor, and the moving arm is going to be on the dorsal surface of the, the wrist. And I'm just going to measure. And I get 75 degrees of, 75 degrees of um, pronation. Now I'm going to do supination. Uh, Deepu, can you please move your hand like that for me? Okay, bring it back. I'm going to move it for you now. Give a little bit of end pressure. Take my goniometer. Same thing with the stationary arm is going to be pointing to, perpendicular to the floor, and the moving arm is going to be on the over surface of the wrist. Apply some pressure. I guess 75 degrees of supination. Some compensations for this would be the shoulder being abducted, so you get more pronation, and the regular ranges are 80 degrees for supination and pronation. Hi, my name is Lev, and today we're going to do flexion and extension of the wrist. Deepo's going to be my patient. We're going to have Deepo sitting with her forearm on the plinth, on the towel to level her arm with her elbow flexed a little bit, and her wrist coming off of the plinth. So I'm going to First, we're going to do extension. I'm going to ask Deepu, Deepu, can you please do this with your hand for me? Okay. Bring it back down. Now, I'm going to do it and put a little over pressure. Feel for the end feel. I'm going to get my goniometer. Bring it back. The axial rotation goes distal to the stylar process of the ulna. The stationary arm goes to the lateral epicondyle. And the moving arm goes on along the base of the fifth metacarp metacarpal. So I'm just going to move her hand, extend her wrist, apply some overpressure, align my axes. She has 90, 92 degrees of wrist extension, and the normal for that is 70. And now we're going to do wrist flexion. Deepu, I'm going to ask you please your wrist like that for me. Okay. Now, I'm going to move your wrist like that for me. A little bit of over pressure. The axis sees <coughs> the axis of rotation. And the end points are the same. So, distal to the stylar process of the ulna. And we have a 92 degrees of wrist flexion. The norm, normal for wrist flexion is 80 degrees.